Prince Harry stood up for himself and stood against the British media in the face of all the hatred and abuse that he's been getting. Let's we'll have a look a little bit more of this from Byline Times. It's a bit of an old one, but I still think it's worth looking at. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in the world. This is a Regan Elite here with an article from Barline Times. As I've always said, Barline Times do fantastic work. And if you guys want to join their work and help them continue the progress that they make, I'll put a link in the description for you guys to look at. So the headline is Prince Harry takes a stand for us all. If they're supposed to be police in society, who on earth is policing them? The crisis and corruption in the British press is one of the biggest ongoing scandals of our times. Byline tips its hat to Prince Harry. Absolutely, guys. Let's be serious here. You know, the media are are not um, are not being fair and judgmental. I would say both left and right wing. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's just one sided, but there's, they're definitely having way too much influence on politicians, and we need to cut that tie, that is for sure, for sure, for sure. Democracy fails when you when you press when your press fails to scrutinise and hold government to accountability, and instead choose to get into bed with them so that they can ensure the status quo. The country and the British public deserve to know, and we will be better off for it. Today, the Dukes of Sussex was the first senior member of the royal family in more than 130 years to give evidence to a civil court. He also became one of the British establishment's very own, a prince of the realm, no less, to expose what he alleges was illegal information gathering by one of his country's major tabloid newspaper groups. Will he receive the praise he deserves for his speaking the unspeakable? Unlikely with all his privileges and wealth, Prince Harry is painted as playing the ultimate victim by the press he hopes to be held accountable. In turn, these tabloids can then claim the victimhood that they often hide behind when challenged. Who is a prince to tell the free press anything? But when someone with the experience, insight and access to the elite circles that Prince Harry has brings a claim such as the one in the High Court pursuing against the Mirror, the group newspaper, we should all take notice. In many ways, his wealth and privileges insulate him. He has very little to lose or gain in any material sense from this case. Rather, it's a point of principle in which he seems to be advocating in the public interest. Of all the people to speak of the importance of an accountability press for the healthy democracy, truth and decency, it's frankly remarkable that one of British elite's own. But his level of knowledge of the working and culture of the British press is a testament to his commitment to bringing about change. In his extraordinary statement to the court, Prince Harry said, I fully accept and agree to the fact that journalists and media own the public square. As in as much as if you are in a position of responsibility or you are funded by the taxpayer, the media should have the power to be able to investigate anyone, anytime, for pretty much anything. But that, over the last 15-20 years, there are now incredibly powerful media companies who are masquerading as journalists, who have quite literally hijacked journalists' privileges for their own personal gain and agenda. It's an unbelievably dangerous place. How often do we hear anything about journalistic privileges? The Prince went on to say, whoever you are, if you are of an interest to the press of that time, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're in private or in public, you are a target. You become a victim of their system. He's absolutely right um, with that. But there needs to be a balance. And to be quite honest, that balance is, is very much broken. It's here in the UK, definitely in the US I'm sh and other nations as well, um, people with immense power and money are using the change, uh, putting it into the hands of politicians to dictate things, to have people tell people things that they want them to hear and not what they're supposed to hear. They claim to hold public figures to account, but refuse to hold themselves accountable, he said. If they're supposed to be police in society, who on earth is policing them? Well put. Even when the government is scared of alienating them because of positions of power, it's incredibly worrying for the entire UK. For the fifth in line to the throne, this claim is about trying to save journalism as a profession. However unusual a turn of events it may seem, this newspaper applauds Prince Harry for daring to confront one of the biggest underreported ongoing scandals of our time that we have an entire power block in this country which can impact all of our lives that receives hardly any scrutiny. 
not of its owners, intentions or consequences. Journalists need to expose those people in the media that have stolen or hijacked the privileges and powers of the press that they have used illegally or unlawfully means of their own gains and agenda. His statement says, I am bringing this claim not because I hate the tabloid press or even necessarily a section of it, but in order to properly hold the people who have hijacked those privileges which comes to being a member of the press to account for their actions. In remarks that particularly caught the eye of the Daily Mail, but Prince put it bluntly, on a national level, at any moment, our country is judged globally by the states of our press and our government, both I which I believe are at rock bottom. Absolutely. <laughs> and right now, we are the laughing stock of the world. You know, you go to media outside the UK and, and you know, you know, there was a story where or, or there was an Australian um, um, news outlet where reporting on the deal that we have with Australia, and the, the journal and the media outlet and people on there were laughing. They're laughing because of how pathetic our deal is with them. You know, we are we are being mocked, and we don't realise it because our media are not reporting that because they're not going to tell you the truth. They the media will tell you what they want you to know, not always what you need to know. So I always say. In whenever you read or hear anything, always take it with a pinch of salt, including even from this channel. Just because I'm reporting something doesn't mean it's factual. It is news, but it's not factual. And you take you take this just like everything else and everything else that you read and read in the newspaper or online with a pinch of salt. Because unless you see it and hear it one definitively, it's not factual. So it's be, always be careful with what you, with that. Regardless of whether you're left wing, right wing, centre, whatever your political beliefs are. That intakes of the British royal family to draw such conclusions publicly, rather than our press that says a lot about the current states that we are in. Harry's one of the establishment's own, and this is exactly why the majority of press, particularly the white wing tabloids, are so hostile to him. In conjunction with the political class, they are also part of the elite. And they have to and they have, have it in calls out to little will be a little too close to home. But the real question is, will anything fundamentally change? While Prince Harry's given his testimony and opened up himself to cross the examination, none of the journalists nor editors who he said were behind the alleged unlawful instructions into his life are giving evidence. Fielding questions about specific journalistic practices in tabloid newsrooms is not for the Duke of Sussex. So will there be ultimately be any answers or accountability from the press itself? Beyond some limited high-profile media coverage of the court cases, which inevitably always frames the issue of historic phone hacking allegations, rather than distorting culture of some of the biggest newspapers and proprietors and editors stays really at heart. While the Conservative government is shelved at taking part of the landmark Leveson inquiry into the press ethics and practices, which followed the exposure of the phone hacking scandal, there is no guarantee of what change the government will help. So Keir Starmer's Labour Party swims in the same toxic, toxic waters as the, crop, as the current crop of politicians in charge of those. Yeah, remember Keir Starmer had a meeting with Rupert Murdoch many, many years ago as well. So bear that in mind as well, people. If you, if you don't believe me, go and look it up. It's absolutely true. He did an article for the Sun. Will media reform be higher on its list after more than a decade out of power? We will have to wait and see. But it should be, because as Prince Harry has said, if newspapers can, tru can truly believe they are above the law, it's the general public that suffer. It really is that simple. Yeah, of course so. We suffer as a result. If we're not told the truth, if we are told to believe something, and we're not being told the truth, then, then what is truth? What is accurate? What is not is information that we are being given? Is it is information that we're being told is 100% accurate? This is very serious stuff, guys. You know... Being told, being given the most, the most correct and most accurate information is vital, vital journalism. It's difficult to see how Britain would be in a position it is now, weekly, politically and economically, both at home and on the world stage. If a truly independent and accountable press had provided the necessary checks on power all healthy Democrats need. I have never understood how being a journalist isn't seen as anything but an immense privilege and responsibility, exaggerating what is happening around us and why, getting closer to the people in the events that matter, but having the tools to expose wrongdoing is one of the most fulfilling and important jobs there is. But the truth is, it's all too often not seen like this at all. Too much of the established British journalists that remain an elite, close club, close to power and influence in it, while claiming to have none but playing victim when it is scrutinised in the slightest. That, it continues to get in the way of its ability to sort our politics and society in one of the biggest stories. 
one of the biggest stories, our scandals of our time. Prince Harry's taking a stand for us all. And that was by Hardy Morrow. She's an absolutely great editor of Barlight Times. Um, she is. What do you guys honestly think? I think um, when I think about the when I think about the media, we have to always be careful. Like even here on YouTube, when YouTubers such as myself and many others are posting videos, it's very it's very easy to take things the wrong way or take them with a pinch of salt. And that's not um, that's not an attack on anybody in particular. We have to be very careful of what we report and what what people say. Um, I always say, and I've, I've said it in there anyway, but um, don't always assume that what you're being told is true. Um, take it with a pinch of salt. I would say that if the vast majority of media outlets, left wing, right wing, centre, if all media outlets are reporting the same thing, the chances are it's probably true. But it doesn't mean it's definitively true either. Um, the reason why I try to, on this channel, report from so many different outlets is to give you different perspectives as much as I possibly can. Uh, the reason I, I, I was initially looking at going right wing, but uh, on some right wing medias, but I just don't feel comfortable about reading their articles, and I feel um, I feel I may be misleading or dismissing um, your the channel and their viewpoints with it. I'm very reluctant to go to the right wing. I did have an opinion of going there, but I've chosen not to at this moment in time. But things may change, just because. I don't consider myself left wing, right wing, or centre. I consider myself a person, and I take and I take what I read, read, and I give my thoughts on it. And it's a choice of whether you guys choose to believe what you believe what you read and see or not. And that is the same here. Prince Harry believes that the media are out to get him, and they are, and they are harming the British public. Do you agree with that? Let me know down in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe, guys, and I will catch you all very, very soon. Thank you for watching.